2023 is looking to be the year of the OLED as we've seen a massive throbbing increase in OLED displays available for PC gamers and movie enthusiasts, but there's one display tech releasing this year that has me the most excited, and that's Samsung's second generation of Quantum Dot OLED panels. Now you know me, I'm what they call an OLED enthusiast, because once you compare OLED to LCD, you'll quickly understand just how much of a garbage tier technology LCD is. In fact, I find it hard to believe we really had such a long LCD dark age coming off of CRT displays, which, while they were larger, were also better in many aspects versus the toilet paper we've been sold over the last 20 years. So when I first got my sweaty hands on LG's W OLED displays, I could never go back thinking I'd struck gold, but then something truly or happened. That's right, Samsung crawled right between LG's cheeks, grabbed their with both hands using an ancient surprise attack passed down for generations only to be used in this precise moment when LG believed they were at the zenith of their power not knowing Samsung had been cooking up a new OLED technology called Quantum Dot OLED and fellas this was a an upgrade over W OLED as not only could it get far brighter but it also had better colors but it didn't stop there oh no in 2023 Samsung Samsung's second generation Quantum Dot OLED panels, which will debut in their S95C of premium TVs and even possibly some monitors, will once again raise the bar in terms of brightness by the use of their new blue phosphor technology. Now, worry not, LG is also debuting much brighter displays this year with their new MLA panels, but not only do I believe they will still fall short slightly in brightness and in some cases frame rate to Samsung, but their short sighted matte finish approach to the PC market has me far less interested in their 2023 displays as opposed to the beautiful glossy displays we can expect to see from Samsung this year. Speaking of which, you better clench those cheeks because I'm about to take a fat load of specs right on your chest as according to the report, Samsung's next gen Quantum Dot OLED displays will be at least 20% brighter with a peak brightness being reported of around 2000 nits and in terms of full screen brightness you may see as high as 300 nits before calibration now that's bright which is going to be very very good for HDR gaming but even more exciting is I've heard rumors of new TV and monitor sizes coming in 2023 as well so there's a possibility we could see a somewhat reasonably sized 4k 144hz second gen panel as well as a 27 inch 1440p 240hz and since it's Samsung they will all be glossy and to make things even better Samsung has reportedly solved the weird issue they had on their first gen products that caused the screen to light up and harm dark levels when the lights were on. So overall 2023 Samsung is looking to be the brand to beat when it comes to the best and brightest display technology. Whether you're looking to connect a new console, gaming PC, or just need a fast and reliable HDMI cable to connect over long distances, RuPro has you covered with their RuPro 8K HDMI 2.1 fiber optic cable, available in sizes ranging from 3 to 165 feet, and can deliver a perfect full 48 gigabits per second connection over distances other cables could only dream of reaching. And with 48 gigabits per second of bandwidth, it can easily drive 8K at 60fps or 4K at 120fps HDR10 video through its ultra-thin, flexible, and durable housing, and it even supports eARC. So if you're in the market for a cable that can drive a beautiful new TV or monitor, be sure to check out RuPro on Amazon today.